So Flux AI is here and this is considered to be the direct competitor of mid journey and in few cases it even outperforms mid journey and this is really really good in photorealistic images it's good in generating the text inside of the images and the best part is that this is free and open source tool. So in this video I'm going to share a couple of free ways to use this AI tool. So this is from the Black Forest lab and they have introduced the Flux 1 a new era of creations and if I scroll down you can see these are some of the creations using this AI tool. So you can see this is really good in texting and you can see in this image it's a lengthy text in the image but it still performs really really good. And these are some of more examples and in terms of realism you can see how good this image looks. But we're going to test all of these things on our own. These could be cherry picked images but we're going to test this out. But on their website in the initial look it looks really really good. This is good in illustrations, photorealistic images, portraits and even in the text it looks really really good and one more thing to note that it comes in the three different variants so the first one is going to be the flex chanel which is their lowest model then they have the flex dev and their flagship model is going to be flex pro so there are a couple of ways to access this ai tool for free and the first one is going to be their hugging face so this is their hugging face space and this is the url you will also find this url in the description below and you can see we have both of these models here flex chanel and flex dev so you can try both of these models inside of hugging face so let's select any one of them like like flex chanel so this is a very simple space we don't have much options in this you can see we have the prompt area then if we click on the advanced settings we only have some seed numbers you can just change the aspect ratio you can also control the number of steps we don't have much options in this one but there is a one more method to use this ai tool and this is going to be cart so this is the url cr.ai so cart is a online free ai image generator and we can find a lot of different stable diffusion models here you can find the lora models you can find the lora trainings design templates workflows and previously this was working on the stable diffusion basically but recently they have added flux one to their models and we're gonna try this out so just click on that and you can see we have this interface in front of us so this is the prompt area so we're gonna give it any prompt like photo of a beautiful woman wearing jacket and glasses on a street and uh, then you can see we have the option to select the aspect ratio so let's go with the 16 ratio 9 and then you can see we have the seed number options you can use the random seed numbers you can customize your seed numbers and simply hit generate so this is the output image obviously in the first look it looks really really good and this is much much better than the stable diffusion now here's a one more image with this prompt a photo of a beautiful woman on a street and look at that look at the details obviously it looks a little bit like uh, AI generated maybe because this is using their lowest model uh, Chanel which is uh, flux Chanel but this is already looking much much better than the stable diffusion now let's see how does it perform with the text description so I'm gonna use this prompt a penguin holding a board with text spaghetti lever and hit generate so this is kind of an illustration but look at the text the text is very perfect the spelling each and everything is perfect now let's talk about its third method and this is going to be glyph.app and this is their website so basically you can build different ai based apps on this one and this is the url glyph.app you can find this url in the description below so all you have to do is just click on this build button and from here you can select this plus icon and you can see we have some text input models image input models multitask text generations so this is not only uh, limited to the image generators you can also use the text based models like the chat gpt cloud and all different models so from here we're going to select the image generator and you can see we have the space to enter the prompt so in the image generation model you can see we have different models table diffusion excel dali 3 controlism flex pro flex dev and this is a really good thing that they are offering their top tier model flex pro for free now in the prompt section just enter your prompt like a photograph of an old man wearing hat and glasses and they just scroll down and from here you can select the aspect ratio so let's go with the 16 ratio 9 and in the advanced controls if i click on that you can see we can control the number of steps which is by default 28 and you can also control the prompt power you can also select the seed numbers so we don't have much controls but I would like to go with the default settings and uh, from the right side just click on this run this cliff all right so this is the output image and <laughs> look at this man just look at the detail the realism quality of the image 
it's amazing it's amazing so so we're gonna try this same prompt inside of the mid journey and we're gonna see which one performs better now let's go ahead to the mid journey but before generating inside of the mid journey i would like to change the settings so from the settings option i'm using the raw mode and the lowest stylized values and right now i'm using the mid journey version 6.1 which is the default one now let's run this prompt and then we're gonna compare this all right so these are the output images and if i have to select one of them i would like to pick this one and uh, this is the output from the mid journey and look at the details man just look at that skin texture each and everything so detailed and if i compare this with the flux video this is the flux output so you can clearly see uh, difference in the skin texture and the details obviously the skin pores and the skin textures are washed out in the flux image but but in case of the mid journey it looks like a real image now let's test this prompt a woman wearing black jacket and red dress walking on a tokyo street all right so this is the output from the flux ai and now this is the output from the mid journey and if i compare both of these side by side so this is going to be the flux image and look at that this is so perfect each and everything is on sport we don't have any issues with the eyes each and everything is perfect and if we look at the mid journey image you can see there is some issue with the eye but overall this is a good image but in case of the flux ai it looks much more natural so in this case flux ai performed better than the mid journey now i tested this prompt a robot writing with chalk on blackboard i am a friendly robot and here is the output from the flux ai well this robot is not actually holding a chalk but it feels like this is writing on a blackboard and then i tried the same prompt inside of the mid journey and these are the output from the mid journey and you can see in every image the robot is kind of just standing near the blackboard but there's nothing like a robot is writing with something and uh, you can also notice some spelling mistakes and the typos in the mid journey images but if i have to select the best image from a mid journey so this is going to be the best image from mid journey and if i compare this with the flux ai image Obviously in both of these images the robots are not actually writing uh, but in case of the flux image the robot is at least acting to write on a blackboard but in case of the mid journey this thing is missing. So in my opinion we should not compare both of these tools because because flux AI is open source and this is totally free to use and in case of the mid journey you have to pay for a subscription and in the free tools I would say the flux AI is the best AI image generation model because because this is performing much much better than the DALI 3 and stable diffusion in terms of the realism and for those who cannot afford the expensive mid journey subscription you cannot get wrong with the flux ai you can achieve almost the same results that you can get out of the mid journey so these are a couple of ways to use this model for free i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one